No more. It's joining. Just holding up my light uh, because I, the stance doesn't work. So I'm just holding it. I'll just hold up the rest of the video. Today, we are looking at every nothing. Let me actually get it up. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Oh, it's so <laughs> oh gosh, it's so heavy. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, no. Yes. Wait, this one? Oh, we got it. Everything I touch turns into gold. That is the video. That is the video today. It's an animated story. It's gonna be crazy. They always are. Matthew, put that book down and go to sleep. My dad said as he walked past my little room. It was already 11 at night and my parents expected us to fall asleep by nine. I shared a room with my two little brothers. Fall asleep by nine? That's rough. That is rough. I don't know. I don't look. I'm already upset at your parent. Okay, going to bed by nine. Whatever. Going to sleep by. Going to bed by any time. It doesn't really matter what the time is. You can't just expect someone to fall asleep. Do you know how long it takes me to fall asleep? I don't know. It's different every night. I can't control it. How are you supposed to expect someone to just fall asleep on command? You know who does that? How do you do that? Teach me, please. Zachary and James. They were already sleeping. I put the book away, turned off the light, and faded into dreamland. I loved to dream because it helped me to escape my life, which wasn't awesome at all. We were poor. My dad had just lost his job and my mom was finishing an MBA online. We were living off my dad's savings and it honestly sucked eating crackers and macaroni every day. Sounds like all of this is about to change when you get your sweet new ability to turn everything into gold though. So keep your head up. I hear good things happen for you. Before I continue telling you about my life, Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Share what is with the sinister ambiance? Before I continue, hey, add a can you add a sinister ambiance? Before I continue, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you what happens if you don't. You don't wanna know. Share my crazy story with your friends and hit that notification bell to make sure you never miss out on another story again. I am now, sharing your crazy I? story with my friends. Ah, yes, I was just fading into dreamland. I had a few dreams, but the last one had me puzzled for a long time. I was walking by myself on a mountain, and an old wizard approached me. I heard you want to be like the great King Midas. He Midas? Said. Midas? It is just now occurring to me that I'm not sure I've ever heard the name out loud. I've only ever seen it written down this whole time. I thought his name was Midas. Midas? Has it been Midas this whole time? Yes. It has been. Midas was the guy who was king and everything he touched into gold. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that. I know, I know that. I know of the, I know of the, of the thing. Oh, this is so heavy. This is so heavy. But I will continue to do it. I will continue to hold this light up for you guys, despite there being no stand. Just because I know it makes the video so much better. It's actually really heavy. The king who can turn anything into gold? Yes. Well, yes, that would be nice. I will grant you this power. All you have to do is whisper these words while touching the object you want to turn to gold. Oh, he gets to choose what he turns to gold. Uh, here are the words. Uh, you remember them? You gotta, you gotta remember them? Uh, should I get like a notepad or... Yeah, 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 write them down, write them down. Okay, the words are, turn to gold. <laughs> we don't need the light, save yourself. No, 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 this is much better. This is much better. Look, I only want the best cinematic quality for you guys. And they always say you need at least two point lighting. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but it's what I do just for you guys. Okay, what are the words? Lava is hot. Ice is cold. Turn this object into gold. That's dumb. <laughs> I laughed, but I picked up a nearby flower and repeated the words. Lava is hot. Ice is cold. Turn this object into gold. The flower transformed before my eyes. It really worked. Wow! But not the stem? Like, do you have to specify, oh, also, please, uh, mystical spell. The stem as well. I squealed. Of course it does. I'm a good wizard. Now goodbye. The man vanished, and I woke up a few seconds after that. I forgot my dream until I got home after school to the... After I got home, after I Naruto ran the whole way home. Same boring old dinner. After eating, I went up to my room and picked up my Greek mythology book. I flipped through the pages and landed on the one about Midas. Midas? <laughs> Who's Midas? Who's Midas? I only know mid-ass. I only know mid-ass and maxi-ass. <laughs> He's the one who everything he touches turns to diamond. This reminds me of that crazy dream I had. Hmm, what were the words the wizard told me again? Ah, yes. Lava is hot, ice is cold, turn this object into gold. What happened next shocked me speechless. Let me guess, the book turned to gold. I bet ya, I bet ya that is what happens next. Cause I am good at this. 
The book I was holding turned into gold. Whoa! <gasps> did you just... Wow, brother! Did you just turn that book into gold? <laughs> I saw that thing with my very own eyes! That is magnificent! What are we gonna like? Why is his brother like season one Jojo? My brother Zachary was standing by the door and had seen the whole thing. This is crazy. Let's see if it works on something else. My brother brought me a pencil. Oh, I repeated- gosh. Oh, I got I got worried there for a second. Let's see if it works on something else. Hey, brother. <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> this might hurt a little bit. The words and it turned into gold. You have magical powers? Wow! Zachary said. He ran down the stairs and began screaming. Wow, my brother, my brother has magical powers. He could turn things into gold if my name isn't Zachary. Screaming for my parents to listen to him. Mom, Dad, Matthew has magic hands. Go to sleep, son. My dad answered. I'm serious. Come see, hurry up. My mom and- Hold on, <laughs> I feel like I do. Glaze over there for a second. Did he just say, hey, Mom, Dad, my brother's got magical hands. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Just go to sleep. What does that even mean? Dad came upstairs and looked at me holding the golden pencil. Where did you get that? My mom said. Did you steal it? My dad screamed. Calm down, you guys. He turned the pencil into gold with- <laughs> Calm down, you guys. He turned the pencil into gold with- <laughs> <laughs> I, they actually have different voice actors for this for this one though, so that's so that's nice. It's magic. Do it again, Matthew. Zachary said while handing me a toy truck. I held it, said the magic words, and it turned to gold. My mother fainted, and oh. after my dad splashed a glass of water on her face, she opened her eyes and asked us if she was dreaming. I pinched myself to make sure I wasn't. Am I dreaming? No, let me pinch myself. <laughs> Don't work like that. Don't work like that. Ain't she hot joining with the lamp on your face? Hey, listen. Like I said, I, you guys, you guys changed my life. That I, now I can do this YouTube thing as as a full time career. And so if 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 what that costs me is holding a hot lamp on my face in a in a 31 degree Celsius room, then that is what I must do, for the sake of entertainment and. Perfect lighting. Still dreaming too. How did this happen? What did you eat? My mom. Yo ho ho, we took a bite of gum gum. That just worked too well. I'm asked. I met a wizard in my dream and he told me what to do. Hey, this could change our lives completely. Here, start with all my fake jewelry. What did you do? Yeah, I met a wizard in my dream once. And uh, yeah, he told me, he told, he told me how to do it. Here, start with all of my fake jewelry. We shall turn it into real gold. Then we could be rich. Could never afford real gold anyway. Your father can try to sell it tomorrow and see how much he makes. My mom said. My mom brought me her jewelry box and I turned music. everything in there into gold. She just stared at me like I was a creature from another planet. So I'm sorry, sorry. I'm just distracted by the sweet flute action in the background. You don't hear enough flute in animated stories these days. Actually, come to think of it, you don't hear any music in the animated stories. And that's because we're on a different channel today. So anything actually could happen. Even even things could happen diff that wouldn't normally happen in a <laughs> Oh, the cable's tangled. All right. The next day, my dad came home beaming. We're $200,000 richer. Dang. I saved some and invested the rest. How did you like get $200,000 just like that? I get that you sell it, but like, how is it that easy to sell $200,000 worth of gold? I did it. Don't they have like questions? Who are you selling it to? Who's got $200,000 to give out for some gold? You know, if that was my dad, I'd be asking some questions. Let's go out to a restaurant. No lame food tonight. We went to a very expensive French restaurant in the middle of town. We had a three course meal and ate until we had no space left. Everyone looked so happy. The next day, I stayed home. My day. dad and I decided that I would turn everything in our house into gold. Then, the entire thing. We would melt them into blocks and sell them. That obviously took me more than a day, and before I knew it, I'd been out of school for a month. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, why do you go to school? You go to school to learn stuff. You learn stuff so that you can get more education. You get more education so you can get more education. And then you get that education so that you can get a job. You get that job so that you can earn some money. Or you get that job so that you can work your way up in that job so that you can earn some more money. But you're just here, here straight up turning things into gold. Into gold. Gold, I tell you. You don't need school, my mans. Just hang back. Time, we had millions of dollars saved up. How about a vacation? My mom suggested Why while not? we were having brunch at a fancy hotel. That's a nice idea. <laughs> My dad replied with a mouthful of strawberry tart. Dude, nothing says rich like a mouthful of strawberry tart. Dude, you know you're bowling when your dad's got a mouthful of strawberry tart. Can we go to Disneyland? My brothers said together. That'd be great. I've never been there. Go I winked at them. It was true. Chloe, we're going to Disneyland. Oh, getting some static. Oh, I got static hair. Ay, ay, ay. Now I'm scared to touch things. Look at that. Hey, hey, hey. Just... 
just put the light down, Joinin. Hey, I am, I am doing this for you guys. It had been a dream to go there, but my parents never had enough money. I'll book our tickets and rooms and we can leave this week. I'll book our tickets for rooms so we can leave this week. <laughs> my dad turned into an Australian. Sorry. My dad turned into an Australian. We had so much gold, he got an accent transplant. My dad smiled. We traveled first class. It was the first time I had ever been on a plane, and it was a totally exhilarating experience. Hey. When we got to the hotel, my dad told us that we could all have separate rooms, or we could share. My brothers and I decided to share. Our room was huge, and the best part was the room service. We ordered all kinds of. Dude, it was crazy, dude. It was like a hotel, and you could like you could just put a call up on this thing, and then you're like you're just like, hey, give me some food, and they'll just come up and they'll just bring you some food. Nuts, crazy. And they're like, now, how are you gonna pay for this? And you say, that's why I ordered an extra dinner. They're just lava, just hard and nice as cold, and blah blah blah. Turn dinner into gold. There you go. Do you wanna put the light down? I won't ask again. With two water gun emojis. What do you wanna do? Shoot water at my light. Foods at all kinds of crazy times in the night. The next few days were spent checking out all the cool rides and buying a whole bunch of stuff we didn't really need. But it was just fun to spend money, you know? Yeah. We'd never really known what it was like before. But do you know what the most amazing thing was? Ah. Uh. I don't know, the, the fact that it was possible, like, I don't know, the fact that your dream, like, came to, like, the wizard, what, do you think the the wizard was real? Was the wizard a real person? Are you gonna meet the wizard? Like, it's, is the wizard hanging around somewhere? Mm. It hasn't got anything to do with the wizard. I was about to check out Space Mountain when the most gorgeous girl I had ever seen oh. in my life came up to me and said, Hey, I think you've got gum stuck on your shoe. I lifted my sneaker off the floor, and sure enough, there was a huge wad of gum attached. Hi, little lady, you wanna see something fancy? How would you like a golden piece of gum? Ew, gross. This is so embarrassing, I said. There's no need to be embarrassed. It happens to me all the time. By the way, my name is Autumn. Wanna hang out? My name's Autumn. I stared into space for a while because I was in shock. I couldn't believe this beautiful, amazing, perfect girl wanted to hang out with me. You jump to conclusions here. Look, she might be great, but you don't know if she's perfect. You've li she literally pointed out some gum on your shoe and that's it. You don't know anything. You don't know her from a stick of gum. Well, if you don't want to, it's okay, I guess. She said sadly. No, it's not that. It's just that beautiful girls don't often ask me to hang out with them. Oh, you think I'm beautiful? Thanks. I think you're quite cute too. I blushed. We walked over to a Slurpee stand and sat down to drink. We enjoyed spending time together so much that we hung out together for the rest of the days I was there. I found oh. out what she liked, disliked, where she lived, what school she went to, everything. This is a this is a classic tale. This is a classic tale. You fall in love with someone on your little holiday, then when you go home, you go you go home for a little while, and then you're like, ooh, then you kind of you never talk to that person again. But then one of you is still very keen on the other person, and then you. You keep, you, you keep trying to, they keep trying to, you, one of you keeps sh trying to send lots of messages and stuff to the other person, like, all right, you know, you're still alive. And the other person's like, eh, um, sorry, I have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, I suppose. I don't know. Because it's not something that ever happened to me. It's just a classic story. It's, a, it's the classic go-to. When it was time to. Be sure to like this video and comment below because Joinen literally held his lighting for the whole video for you, legend. Exactly. And we don't need sinister ambiance noise in the background as in a threatening, in a th with a threatening aura. We just need good gestures, like holding a light up the whole video. Fly back home, I became the saddest guy in the universe. Then I got the best idea ever. Hey mom, dad, our house is almost empty because I've turned almost everything into gold. We barely have any furniture, but we have millions saved. Why don't we buy a beautiful house in a new neighborhood? I have just the place in mind. My parents agreed without arguing. It makes sense. I gave them the name of Autumn's neighborhood, and we started looking for houses online. Oh, I we see found one we liked. My dad made a call, and the deal was sealed. Oh. We moved into our three- What? Side on scene. You didn't even get look at the house? You bought an entire house, and you didn't even look at it. Story Mansion the next week. When I was all settled into my new amazing room, I called Autumn and asked her if we could meet. What do you mean? You're so many states away. Not anymore. <laughs> I bought a house. I bought a house right next to you. That's not creepy. That's not creepy, is it? Nah, <laughs> that's not creepy. Not really. <laughs> Look, I'm sending you my location right now. Oh my gosh, you're just two blocks away. What are you doing in my neighborhood? We just moved here. Listen. Isn't it great? Now we can hang out all the time. Wow, that's awesome. I'll meet you at your house and I'll take you around a bit. Oh, Can't okay. wait.
I hung up and went to wait for her downstairs. When the doorbell rang, I opened the door and my dad came to stand next to me. <laughs> oh, this is why you wanted to move here, huh? He said. Oh, it was for a girl. A girl. <laughs> You're... Ah, you bought an entire house to live near this girl. Dad, not now. Did you move here for me? Autumn smiled. Let's go. Autumn showed me all the cool spots around town. Here's the white car parking lot. Over there's the red car parking lot. There's two houses over there, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so here's the Tesla supercharger. <laughs> it was way better than where we lived before, and there was so much cool stuff to do. The next week, I started going to Autumn's high school. I was oh. a little afraid at first because transferring to a new school is always scary. But I fit high school. I feel like I forgot. I feel like I hadn't thought about it until now. How old? How old he was? It didn't really well. Everyone was so friendly, even the teachers. The principal was so cute that he brought chocolate muffins for everyone on Monday mornings. Not only that, the facilities were the best. Not only that, the facilities were the best. They were the best. I felt like I was going to school in the future. My previous school had nothing compared to this. Matthew, you've taken a long break, haven't you? Well, I found a job today, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to sustain the family. We have enough save you all to go to college, but I think we need to turn some more stuff into gold. Hey, yeah, just, but just by the way, champ. Ah, uh, look, I'm gonna turn a couple more things into gold. Just turn something massive. Just, uh, like, surely. Just turn something massive, just so that we can just get it out of the way and you don't have to keep doing this every single day. Just get a big old hunk of something. It doesn't need to be that big. Gold's worth a lot of money. Just get a big old block of something and then just chip away at it as you need or something. I don't know. My dad said one night, Okay, I can stay home tomorrow, I guess. What do you want me to turn into gold? I'll put a few things in the kitchen. The next day, my brothers went to school and my parents left the house. I went to the kitchen to see what my dad had left for me and I got to work, which wasn't real work at all. I just had to touch stuff. Anyway, while I was halfway through turning a few pots and pans into gold, I noticed a man dressed in- Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. Gray outside. He was staring at me with his eyes wide open like he had seen a ghost. Oh my gosh, this turned into a horror. I don't know why this is so creepy. When he realized that I had seen him, he ran away as quickly as he could. I was a bit afraid. What if he reported me? What if he went to the media and they wanted to interview me about my powers? That was the last thing I wanted. After everyone came home, I forgot all about the strange man. We enjoyed an- <laughs> I forgot about the most terrifying thing I'd seen in my life. <laughs> Another huge dinner and my mom went on and on about how we needed to employ a maid because she shouldn't have to be doing housework anymore. We were millionaires now, after all. Yeah, why not? The next weekend, I was on a date with Autumn. I tried to make it as romantic as possible. First, we'd take a stroll near the ocean, then we'd have a picnic in a garden. And after that, we'd go bowling or to a game arcade, depending on what she liked doing. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of asking her if we could- <laughs> Bowling or arcades, what do you like doing? What do you like doing? It's a, uh, it's a, it's a 50-50 question. It'd be official, so it had to be an awesome date. It had started going really well. The stroll was amazing. We held hands and she gazed into my eyes and made me feel- don't tell, don't tell me, don't tell me he's actually gonna like say the thing or something. Feel like the luckiest guy in the world. For the picnic, I'd brought all kinds of expensive exotic foods and laid them all out nicely. All kinds of exotic and expensive foods like grape. Grip. I brought the grip. These are the good grape. I was about to arrange a plate of grapes, I felt a black bag cover my face and some huge hands picked me up. Let me go. Stop. Oh, dang. I heard Autumn screaming. We were carried for a while as we screamed. We were shoved into what felt like a van and the driver sped off. After about 30 minutes, we were taken out of the van and carried inside a building. This took a turn. This took a turn. Someone knew about it. For it is I, Maxi ass. <laughs> I have come to seek revenge. <laughs> I was placed on a chair and tied up. Then the bag was removed from my head. I looked around and the four men who had kidnapped us were all wearing black. Their faces were covered too. Sitting across from us was oh, the same man. man who had been watching me in my kitchen the other day. What do you want with me? Hi, nice to meet you too. My name is Mark. You know exactly what I want. Were they always Matthew? Mark, you know exactly what I want. Luke and John, baby, where they at? I don't, and why have you kidnapped her too? Let me go. I don't understand any of this. I know you can turn things into gold. So, you're going to become my personal gold mine, my cash cow. 
I'm gonna use you to make myself rich. Dude, that's so weird. That's so weird. And also, like, what's wrong with you? Just get him. Don't stand. Why everyone just thinks he's like, he spends his he spends his day. He took a day of school just so that he could like turn individual things into gold. Just turn something big into gold and move along. If you're going to kidnap the man, you don't need to like babysit him for the rest of your life. Just get him to turn something big into gold. I don't understand. Why is this so hard? You can't do that. Do you plan on keeping me here forever? That's exactly what I plan to do. He grinned. Well, at least let her go. She doesn't have any powers. What powers is he talking about? Autumn said. My family was poor until I learned how to turn anything into gold. Well, I know you'll figure this out. You're smart enough to get us out of this. That's like, okay, people always think they're being so comforting. When you're like, oh, I'm in a situation and I'm not having a good time right now and I'm trying to deal with it. And they're like, but you will, you'll get there. You'll figure it out, you always do. And it's like, well, sure, but I still need to do the hard part in order to figure it out. That's the whole thing. That's the whole reason I'm complaining. I need to figure out what to do. It doesn't, it's not comforting. If you tell someone, eh, you'll get there, you'll figure it out. All you've done is make yourself feel better, not the person you're talking to. Oh, we really, we just been kidnapped. This seems like a pretty sucky situation, but uh, yeah, you're pretty smart. You always figure this out. I, I have trust, I have faith in you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Autumn. I'll use some of that faith to get us out of this sticky situation. I asked Mark to untie me so I could get to work. His men did so and followed me to a huge bookshelf. He wanted me to turn every book into gold. I picked up one book and threw it at one of the men's heads. He fell down and the other three grabbed my arms. That's your chance. Now look, I'm not advocating for killing a man. I'm just saying maybe turn him into a sweet high death statue. I said the magic words and they froze. They turned oh. into gold. I he had no it. idea that this could work on people. I was just hoping that it would. I wiggled my way out and ran to untie Autumn. Come back here! Mark shouted. What, what are you gonna do, grab me? <laughs> Come and try. <laughs> Come near me and it's over. I gave you a gift. You can melt those guys and make some money. If you come anywhere near me, I will end your life. I screamed back at him. Wait, Autumn and I ran ending? out of there. When I got home, I told my parents what had happened and we decided that it would be the best decision to move in case anyone found out. So now we live in another state, but I can visit Autumn whenever I want because I'm rich. <laughs> That's the dumbest ending to one of these I've ever heard. And I can visit her whenever I want because I'm rich. I'm rich, baby. There's no takeaway from that video whatsoever. That was it. That was the whole thing. Because I'm rich. I can do what I want. What do you want to do? Come and stop me. I'll turn you into, I'll turn you into gold. I'm rich, baby. <laughs> Oh gosh. Anyway, follow me on Twitch. We film this live. Get some of the lemon carton merch. It still is going away. I don't know what's going on with the new merch. If you didn't hear about that, I don't know what's going on. But buy some of the old stuff if you still like it. Um, Then I can be like this guy and be like, I'm rich. If a lot of you did it. I did it. The whole video. The whole video. Ye of little faith. I held this light the whole video. Goodbye.